in a brave, fun world of automation in the world of manufacturing. And when we think automation, we think bar feed, cobots, robots, pallet change, software? Well, I'm with Tevis today, and today we are talking software when it comes to the world of automation. I got my buddy Lee with me today, and I'm fortunate to learn a bit more about where something like Tevis comes into play when we're thinking about automation, running autonomously, running through the nights, running through the weekends, as automation is trying to get us to do on a competitive global scale. Lee, Tevis, automation, not the first thing that pops into my head, but maybe it should be. So let's talk about where you come into play in the world of automation. Well, uh, Tevis has been around for 40 years now. This is our 40 year anniversary. And through those years, they've done a lot of development specifically geared towards automation. Uh, a few years ago, we introduced parametric modeling. What that gives customers the ability to do now is automate certain CAD functions that they couldn't do before. So something that took hours can now be broken down into minutes. Uh, setting up blanks, covering surfaces, that kind of stuff, all inside the CAD model. The other thing that Tevis offers on the automation side is a true digital twin of a customer's machine tool equipment that's on the shop floor. So now they know what they're using inside the software completely matches what's on the shop floor. Uh, most automation that we provide is built around our customer's environment because that's the one thing that's consistent. Everybody says they machine something new every day, a different job here and there. But what's consistent is the equipment that they use and the tools that they're using. So we capture that and help them semi-automate some of the processes that they go through into making their programs. So uh, again, the parametric modeling is a big, big step towards that. All right, Lee, well, we've talked about the recognition of understanding a little bit more about the repetitiveness of what happens in a machine shop. But when it comes to automation, is there also some programming aspects to it as well? Absolutely, absolutely. So not only can you automate the CAD side of things now, which is very unique, but you can automate the programming as well by recognizing the things that the CAD brings in. So uh, the 2D and the 2.5D, drilling holes, pockets, slots, none of that stuff should, should require someone to start over. So we have feature recognition that allows customers to quickly program that stuff within minutes. And from there, you go into the digital twin to verify, hey, are these programs good? Can I run them? The answer is yes. Send it out to the shop floor and you're, you're rocking and rolling. And let's be clear, Tevis being around for 40 years, it's an industry standard to know that this is a great, great piece of technology, right? Yes. You have a piece behind you that's showcasing the different feed rates and the different finishes but you have stories as well about customers and clients out there just succeeding over and over again, reducing cycle times, reducing the space of the retract rate and just constantly making people more money and saving time as Dave walks right through our cameras. But we love Dave, so it's OK. Dave can walk through anytime. <laughs> He's but welcome. Getting back to your software, you are known as that. I mean, you're you're there. I mean, you are that you're that go to. And when I travel the world, I hear story after story after story of Tevis success, Tevis success. How do you guys get to that point of being able to help clients and customers? Is it really the service aspect? Is it the programming aspect? Is it the capabilities of the technology itself? Is it everything combined? How does that all work? Yeah, it's definitely a combination of everything. We take a lot of pride in our service and support. Uh, in this area in particular, you'll never wait more than a couple hours from a response, for a response from one of our technicians. Uh, really the, the underlying quality that we provide is, is how we generate our programs. We don't do what most of our competitors do in the way we generate the tool paths. So it gives us the ability to have a lot more flexibility with the machining. So ultimately in the end, customers get more throughput. They get shorter machine run times, they get better surface finish, and they get a, a fully simulated tool path to run on their machine. So, and, and you're right, we've had customers come on board recently that have told us we're 75% faster on the programming side. We're getting 30 to 40% shorter run times on our machine. We're getting longer tool life with our roughing programs. So stuff like that. And this is what customers are telling us. And these aren't exceptions to the rule. These are the norm. You know, we always have that highlight reel in our head of what we can, 
you know, spit off and we're on camera, right? But the truth is that you have customers over and over and over again that are similar stories to what you're describing. Right. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, a lot of, we, in this area, we have a lot of aerospace customers, a lot of mold and dye shops, and we have a lot more job shops coming on board because they're seeing the benefits of speed. And that's what everybody wants. Everybody wants to get the most out of their existing uh, equipment. And we help them get there by maximizing that. I wish I could run faster, too, if I'm being honest. Yeah, right. Track and field are my favorite events in the Olympics, right. for sure, to watch. But it's not going to happen. Thanks to Teva, some folks can. Let's bring this all back full circle, Lee, and just talk about automation as a whole. As the industry continues to adopt it more, as we bring more reshoring, as we're doing more here in the U.S., as we're currently in Merrifield here in Michigan, automation as a whole, how do you see it here in the U.S., and how does Tevis fully support the grand scheme of things? Well, Tevis supports it by creating a way for customers to capture the knowledge of their experienced guys because fewer and fewer tradesmen are coming into this, right? There's less people getting into the skilled trades, plain and simple. And if it's plumbing, machining, electrician, it doesn't matter. There's just less people doing it. So we give our customers the ability to capture what they know and what they have so that they can pass it along to someone when they do come along. So that's that, that's a really important role for us and we take a lot of pride in that yeah very well said lee i appreciate your time thank you i hope this has answered some of the audience's questions as well if you have more questions reach out to tevis reach out to lee reach out to michael really a wonderful group of people as i was once told before and then i heard the purr later on tevis is a cadillac that has that nice purr as well lee thank you so much for your time automation is key I didn't realize up until recently how important software is when you talk about automation as well. So reach out to my friends at Tebis and we will all see you again soon. Lee, thank you again. Thank you.